Once upon a time, there was a young narwhal. Her name was Nadine. Nadine lived by herself far away in the Arctic Ocean. She thought herself to be the most beautiful creature in the sea. She would swim around and perform underwater tricks for all of her friends. She would only take breaks to eat squid or to admire her physique in the porthole glass of a sunken ship. One day, Nadine was chasing down a squid for a tasty snack. The chase had gone on for quite some time when all of a sudden the squid stopped, turned around, and yelled, Hey, stop! You can't eat me! Nadine was quite taken aback. She couldn't believe this little squid was talking to her like that. Excuse me? Well, I'm just saying stop because I don't want to get eaten by a fat, ugly narwhal. Nadine couldn't believe it. She had never been so embarrassed in all of her life. She slowly did a reverse turn and swam away with her head held low. Why had that little squid called her fat and ugly? She had thought she was the most beautiful creature in the world. A tear slipped down Nadine's long snout. As Nadine swam home, she couldn't get the squid's voice out of her mind. His words echoed through her skull, and she just got sadder and sadder because she started to feel that what the squid had said was true. She was ugly. She was fat. Why did her friends even stick around with such an unlovable creature? As Nadine thought her sad thoughts, she became aware of a voice in the distance. It sounded like it was singing opera. Intrigued by the music coming from behind the seaweed, Nadine inched closer. She was only wanting to stop for a moment and listen to this beautiful sound. Nadine listened to the dulcet tones, and she wondered what sort of creature would, could possibly sing this beautifully. It must be a wonderful and handsome sea creature. Nadine found herself wanting to peek through the seaweed and satisfy her curiosity. She was just apart, about to part the kelp when she remembered what the squid had said. She couldn't meet such a handsome creature when she herself was too terrible to behold. Slowly, Nadine lowered her flippers and decided that maybe she didn't want to meet the singer. She would just go home and eat codfish to cheer herself up. Nadine started to swim away. All of a sudden, she heard a voice. Well, hello. What are you doing here? I've never seen you around these parts before. Nadine turned around and saw the ugliest sea animal she had ever seen in her life. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come over this way necessarily, but I was going home and I heard a lovely singing voice, so I just came over to listen. Well, what a treat. I hardly ever have anyone stop and listen to my singing. Nadine was confused. What? Wait, what? You said you stopped to listen to my singing. I'm honored. That was you singing behind the seaweed? Yes, yes it was me. I'm glad you liked it. Nadine couldn't believe it. She could not believe that someone so hideous could have such a wonderful singing voice. I hope this isn't rude, but what exactly are you? I'm a blobfish, the ugliest creature in the world. Oh, I'm pleased to meet. Wait, did you just say you were the ugliest creature in the world? Yep, that's me. Doesn't that make you sad? Of course not. You just have to live your life and be happy with who you are. Nadine shook her, said, her head sadly. I used to be happy with who I was, but then a squid said I was fat and ugly. So now I'm not so sure. Nonsense. You can't let the opinion of a little squid get you down. Who cares what that fellow thinks? When someone says something mean to you, you just shake it off and you get on with your life. Let's practice now. Shake, 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 shake. Nadine was dubious. Come on, Narwhal, get yourself shaking. Nadine started to shake, and then she shook a little bit more, and she started to feel a teensy bit better. She shook some more. Before she knew it, Nadine was shaking all of her worries right off of herself and feeling great about life. The very next day, Nadine met the squid in the ocean again. 
Hey, fatty, what you doing? Nadine wanted to get sad, but she remembered the blobfish. She started shaking her worries away, which made her feel better immediately. She hummed a happy little tune and swam away from the squid, who could only stare after her in confusion.